All right, so yeah, someone asked me on stream recently if um they want to know like how basically I was moving around so fast in FL Studio. Um, I'm just gonna be showing like a uh, a few additional mouse buttons I use and I map macros onto them using a uh, software so I can like form various functions uh, with a single click with one of my like um you know fingers instead of like having to move my hands around the keyboard and perform some awkward shortcuts so yeah um let's get started basically um i have a logitech g502 uh it doesn't really matter um which brand you have or whatever i'm not gonna go in like it's not a tutorial about like setting up macros for these you know um everyone's gonna have their own software for their mouses uh for, yeah and basically you can check with them like where to put them you might have more buttons than me, less buttons than me, than me. So yeah, just take what you need from this video, uh, apply it if it like seems interesting to you, and if it doesn't, you know, I hope it at least gives you ideas of some of the things you can do. All right, so let's get started. Um, here I put the right right shift plus left click on um, the right shift plus right click. So basically, um, the left shift and right shift on your keyboard don't do the same thing for the shortcuts in the FL Studio. Um, this I put um, the slice so basically if I have like this kick before you know I'd, I'd have to like if typing keyboard is not on I'd have to press like C and then you can like you know cut and right click you will do like this um, so basically now I just have it on like uh, a finger so if I want to cut I don't need to press any shortcuts or whatever it's just like um, that button here will cut with the blue line and that button here will cut with the red line so it's just like a, a hold macro that I, I do like this it, it doesn't go in diagonal if I want to do diagonal I still need to go to C but I, I barely ever use diagonal mode so sometimes but most of the time not so yeah I can just cut like this now and if I do the other button then it'll be red and this saves me a bunch of time I kind of like using this shortcut um, so yeah then after that um, we have the continuously scroll right and left. So my old mouse used to do this where um, I would just like put my middle mouse and hold it on the right or left and it would just move like this. And my old mouse did this like in a very fluid way, but this one didn't. So I had to like change the macro. So it did it with a hold and loop function or something. Um, but um, this is particularly useful when you're like zoomed in and you have a clip that you had to like, you know, you have a huge project and then you need to zoom in on a clip and then you're trying to, to like move it. I mean, it's not gonna be as much of a problem with FL21, I think, because now you can copy paste exactly where you want, but before you had to move like this and see how it's slow, like this is so slow. So I just use my, you know, like this. <laughs> so yeah, this helps you like navigate a lot faster when you have like those little clips. Sometimes it will go down like this, which can be a pain, but if you're just doing left, right, yeah, it's working fine. All right, so yeah. This trigger helps you go faster for this case. After that, I have um, click, continue scroll. These I did all. So here, um, I map the middle click on uh, this button just because um, I kind of don't like panning with the original middle click. I have to like you know put my finger that's on the primary clip. I have to move it away from where it's usually laying and so it's a lot of movement for no reason and I often like bump in the thing that does this so it's just really awkward to do and when you have a bunch of clips the other alternative you have which is the default FL Studio shortcut for that um, is basically shift right click so you can pan with shift right click and it, it's it's pretty cool you know like I would use it if there wasn't like this little thing here that if you do it on top of a clip it'll just delete the clip so it's a big no-no for me because I don't want to be panning around my project and deleting a bunch of stuff accidentally. So um, yeah, I just map my middle mouse button to like my thumb and now I can just like take my project, move around really fast. There's no problem. Um, and yeah, when you're starting to work on huge projects with like hundreds of tracks, you kind of like going down like this is like a total waste of time. It takes so long. So you can either go here or just like unzoom and then, you know, move like this with the hand it's just so much faster so yeah all right after that i have um probably my favorite one so there's a shortcut to mute which is the right alt so not left alt but right alt on your keyboard and left click mutes clips so yeah uh this i love but you know 
it was I didn't like the fact I had to put my my hands that was on always on the left side of the keyboard I had to bring it all, all the way into the right just to perform this and it's something I do all the time so yeah I just put it on my thumb um, again just a bit higher and now I can just like mute clips by clicking on them as simple as that you know no shortcuts just I click with that button it mutes and mutes and you can even do multiple at a time so it's really cool if you want to do like oh there you here them there you go so um yeah this one i use all the time probably my favorite shortcut um then i put the browser on this last button here just because uh i felt like alt f8 i had to use like i had to remove my hand from my mouse to go reach the f8 so it was a lot of movement for not much reason i know there's a auto hide feature but yeah i just rather have it on my thumb and decide when i want it open or not so yeah so you know all th this just allows you to go faster and it's not like really hard to remember you don't have to remember a shortcut you just put it on on one of your fingers and then it's like quick access to stuff like that which just since i've started using those i've been working so much faster so yeah um, don't have to put the same as me like you guys can probably figure out what you need and what's best for you since everyone has different use cases but uh, I hope this was at least you know gave you a bit of ideas or um, showed you the door to possibility of what you could do in map on your mouse buttons to help you uh, speed up FL studio so yeah it's pretty much all for me right now I might do in some other workflow tutorials uh, later because I have a bunch of other stuff I I'd like to share but yeah this one was more just um i was just like focusing on uh the additional mouse buttons and different macros you can map to them so yeah hope this was useful see you around next time peace